So there's something that happens when you have been shutting down your emotional responses to things through gray rocking, through dealing with toxic people, through having trauma from these relationships that are so toxic to you and so harmful and hurtful to you that you've had to shut down on an emotional level sometimes and keep yourself sort of distanced from the, the way you're feeling. So in order to cope, in order to survive, in order to maintain relationships with toxic people, in order to try and get out of them, right? But the other thing that shuts down is your joy, your experience of yourself, enjoying life, enjoying things in life. And a lot of people, by the time they get to a certain point, either in healing, beginning to heal, or ready to leave these situations, or when they, or even if they can't get out, or they feel like there is no joy left. There is no ability to feel even the good things there, or they feel emotionally flat. So if that's where you're at, do you require joy in your life? Do you have the feeling of wanting to experience something for yourself that goes beyond all of the toxic muck that you've been living with? I'm hoping your answer is yes to that question. So let's talk about that. I'm Lise Colucci, and I'm here to help you with recovery, healing, and understanding everything related to toxic relationships, narcissism, and all of that. And let's get started with this because it's an important topic. So joy and the experience of joy and the experience of gratitude and the experience of feeling yourself in life as you relate to other things and truly coming into yourself and being who you are as a person, not who the trauma has told you you are, not who the, the toxic people have told you you are, but who you really are is an expansive experience. It allows growth and it allows you to move from being a survivor to being a more thriving human being and to coming into yourself and what your life's purpose is, because I can guarantee you your life's purpose is you are not here to please toxic people, all right? You're not on this planet to take care of their never ending need. So how to achieve this feeling of joy, how to go about your day and experience moments of joy. I talk about it a lot. I say on every video pretty much when I'm talking about recovering and healing, and moving forward in your life, that it's really important to find moments of joy. It is one of the number one self-care tips that I offer to people is go out and find your joy. Find things that make you feel like you, that where you feel connected to something other than yourself that doesn't involve another human being, especially because that way you can experience yourself having joy and allow the feeling of joy to, to flow back into you so that the joy is part of that moment okay and it's not something that you can think your way into usually you can think of ways in which might help you but this isn't a thought process this is an allowance of that emotion to be there the joy is already in you the joy is present within you just like love is in you just like all your goodness and all of that that is what the narcissistic person has been using for their supply. They have been pulling that and using it for themselves. That's partially why you don't feel it sometimes is you're depleted. You haven't had that reflected back to you. So finding experiences in life that reflect back that joy can be incredibly useful. It can be as simple as buying yourself a flower or even more simple looking at a flower in someone else's garden that you didn't have to grow, right? Like it can be the simplest experience where you being present to yourself are able to experience the world around you and feel the joy of living, feel the joy of life around you without preconceived constructs of expectations or of contrivances that are brought on by what other people have told you or by the experiences you've had or simply the steeping and the, and the ruminating of the negativity not your fault. These things happen and it's really hard to get out of the negative ruminations and the negative mindset and the toxic mindset that's been planted in your head from the toxic experience. So it's an active daily event to go out and seek this joy or stay in and seek the joy, whatever it is. I mean, come outside of the trauma, come outside of your toxic um, programming that's been put in your head. Reason for it is, is huge. 
The reason for it isn't to pretend that the toxic didn't happen. The reason for it isn't to, you know, just bury your head in the sand and, and avoid the processing that needs to happen from healing from toxic relationships. The reason for it is because of that joyful experience opens you up to yourself. We do not need to be vulnerable to the rest of the world in order to be healing, right? We do need to be vulnerable to ourselves. We do need to require that vulnerability of openness toward one's healing so that it can create more of, it, it's generative, right? It creates more of the same. We talk about attracting, right? Attracting what we want in our life by using mantras, using affirmations, you know, this kind of thing to attract the sort of energy and, and experiences that we want in life. But it goes beyond that when you are actively seeking joy, and you're going out there and being present to that moment of joy, that means you are actively participating and generating more of that in your life. Isn't that where you would rather go? Because I know it is for me. And I, it doesn't, take away the trauma. The traumas still happen. You can have both things. You can hold both feelings. You can hold the feeling of everything you're processing and also have moments of joy. It is like if you were running and you're a runner and you never took a sip of, of a fluid of any kind, no nothing. You just marathon ran without any anything to give you what's necessary for your body in order to finish the marathon, right? So you may need a little calories, you may need some water, you may need some electrolytes, whatever it is. It's that. Seeking these moments of joy is that. It's giving yourself a sip of water when you are parched and, and, and drained and exhausted. It's giving yourself calories and nourishment when you have gone for long stretches of time doing a lot of work. Okay, so it's very, very important to healing and it's very important to um, our recovery from toxic relationships and from toxic upbringings. That is what I have for you today. If you need help with anything regarding healing from toxic relationships or transforming your life from being in whatever mindset you're in to where you would rather be, let me know. I am available for coaching, group coaching, or there is peer support for toxic relationship recovery as well in the main description of every video. I'm Lise Colucci, and I will see you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.